In today's episode, we are going to create a beautiful public transportation area with buses and trams. Let's get building. Alrighty, so for this episode, the first thing that I actually want to do is expand our little city. And that means we are going to buy our first tile or the second tile of the game. <laughs> We're going to go over on this side for sure. We'll purchase this for 4200 we can also buy another tile which is really really cool now we have all this space right here but i do have plans to build a public transportation up right about here and i'm not sure how far out we're going to extend so before i plan another residential area here i really want to see how far the public transportation area goes okay but uh, what i also saw is that we do need high school we do need a high school so let's actually come in here first of all let's get the population growing we'll extend our little uh, avenue here our arterial road and now let's just come in here and create another residential area and with these roads it, you can you can just go you can just go wild right you can there's no like wrong way when it comes to this design um, so you can do whatever you want basically. Here's another tip for you. If you want to do a vanilla cul-de-sac, you can just do this. So I just added a two-lane road up in here, left it as a dead end. Then you can go to the avenue and just create a very small segment of the avenue. And I think this looks really cool as sort of a cul-de-sac if you have no access to mods. I think that is pretty nifty. Also try just switching up the road. So we'll take a dirt road and we'll just simply do this just because just so we have like a different visual in the city as well right all right so that seems pretty good for now to come in here and do some mass zoning well not everywhere though so not right here so the cool thing is these houses will spawn on the cul-de-sac which is really cool uh visually and we do need a high school i said that so let's actually get busy with a high school we also need some money for the public transportation hub okay so I want to go with the smaller high school, which is this one right here, instead of the, this large one. This is a really big asset right here, but I want the smaller one. So what we'll do now is we'll create sort of a mini, a mini area for the high school right here. Plop that bad boy down just like so, and I think that is really cool building. It's a really nice one. Um, I always love to do a um, sort of a sports thingy. We'll go with a basketball court. Um, I'm not, do we want it like right behind? I think it would be better if we took out these walking paths and we'll focus on those a, a little bit later. Okay, so this is kind of cool, I think. And now we have a great, I'm thinking now, do we also want tennis maybe? We could put both in here. So why not? And we have a little bit of space. We got a lot of parks now. I got the Paradox Plaza in here, which is super cool. And now walkability, once again, <laughs> the best way to get the citizens off your roads, uh, out of their cars is by having enough walkability. Okay, so I'll just detail this little area. I think we'll turn this into a time lapse. If I have like a specific tip I wanna tell you about the detailing, I will of course slow the video down again and let you know. But for now, uh, let's, uh, let's get building.
Right, and there we have it. Uh, not very much, actually. I, <laughs> I thought it would be much more detailing, but I think uh, just like, you know, trees, some fences, a shop here and there. Uh, be aware that you hit the historical uh, market historical so it doesn't uh, change its appearance when it levels up if you like the design. But I do think this is a really cool um, design for the high school area and I like it, uh, like it a lot. People are using the walking paths, which is truly amazing. Walkability, probably the best tip for uh, combating traffic in the game. And as we know, traffic is the biggest enemy <laughs> in City Skylines um, for all players. So uh, here we go. Also, I just see this uh, another area I want to um, detail up a bit. So let's just do that before we head on over to our main event. All right, uh, there we go. We ran into some slight garbage issues here, but uh, we're back on track. All is well. I had to place down three of these bad boys right here. Um, so yeah, but we, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. So we did get some expansion done. That is very good. Uh, we do have resident um, industrial demand, and I would very much love to convert this area because I would really, really want to place down some office buildings, but we need a lot more people for that. So for the sake of having just some... Uh, just to meet that demand, we'll just go in here and uh, and now let's get started on the public transportation hub, which I want to have located right here. So first thing I want to do, um, I look at this and I already see this ragged edge here. We're going to go to the terraforming tool in the landscaping and disasters tab. If you have the natural disasters DLC, it is called landscaping and disasters. Otherwise, it's just landscaping. We'll go to the level terrain. We'll right click our height and I want this to be in line with this road. So we'll right click the terrain height. We'll go to a bigger brush and also up the strength in here. There we go. And that gives us this to work with now. So we'll just level this out a bit. Might be a bit costly, but that's fine. Now we're gonna to go to the soften terrain and we're just gonna soften out these edges here. Make that look all nice and neat. There we go. This map does have some terrain issues we need to deal with, so. But it's, uh, it's all good, it's all good. Okay, so first thing I wanna do, grab a road. And I think since we're also going to have a tram running through, we're going to get the two lane road with tram tracks going to go out to about I'm going to go out 15 units probably more but uh, for now this is going to be 15 units we're going to go and get the tram depot in I think I want like a space in between here we'll grab that tile there we go and look at that what a beauty of a building very nice soon the trams will be rolling out of here <laughs> very very nice all right so to in order to up this, um, obviously the tram is going to run along here. Uh, so we have this dip in the terrain, but that's fine. We have to deal with it anyway, so that's okay. So now what I wanna do is uh, get a bus only road, um, but I do want a, a bus bus only road. So we have to go with the express ramps. I'm not really sure how long, there we go, this should be. So we're gonna go out by I think like at least 15 units. So we'll see if these measurements hold up. Uh, if not, we can always change that, of course. So the reason I chose this, um, basically a highway ramp is, uh, I just want this, the, the, no cars should drive through here, right? We don't want any cars uh, driving through here. So this should be bus only, and that is fine. That's a higher speed limit, but I think that's gonna be that's gonna be okay, actually. All right, the garbage issue has been taken care of. Very nice. And look at that. All of these uh, industrial buildings spawned in. That's quite big, though. Um, and uh, we still have high demand, so I hope we're gonna get to that uh, milestone when we actually get... Oh, we're gonna be busy town very really soon, but we need big town for the office... Um, Special is it for the office buildings. All right, so now that we have uh, laid this, we're going to come in here with a, a walkable uh, road. We're going to go to about here. And then I want the four lane road, which I think is a really, really cool road. And we're going to have this now connect to the avenue. And same with this right here. So we'll have these two roads. Again, don't mind the terrain. It's, it is what it is. Um, this is 800, it's the cost of 800. That's 20 units, all right, 20 units. We can work with this. Give me another walkable road in here, and we definitely want to have a cutting off point here, maybe even the 
that's too close to the node. So we'll do this. And this should be okay traffic wise, I think. And then we have this to work with here. So we have our bus hub right here. We'll take out this. We're going to go to the tram only roads now. And we're going to create a small segment here. And we'll be on our merry way. There we go. We should be able to fit through here. There we go. Perfect. To make this more smooth, we can simply do that. And ooh, busy town. Let's go. What do we have? Uh, level 4 unique buildings, leisure tourism. Oh, nice. We could have leisure and tourism uh, specialization. That's great. New policies, new roads. Oh, let's go. Tree line roads, finally. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. More tram roads. Perfect. Since we just started putting in the tram depot, very nice. We get the big hospital, big police quarters, new uh, parks, plazas. Very nice. Oh, yeah. These are some really cool buildings. Community pool, awesome. And there we go, even more buildings. Very, very nice. All right, so let's pause the timer actually. Okay, so we've got this going, that's pretty good. This might be a bit long, so we could definitely shorten that, but I think for now, I think it's okay. I think we could just leave it like that. I definitely love this um, tram stop here. The good thing is we can always continue our tram network into this direction, which is, which is really amazing. Right? I really, really like that. Okay, now we definitely want another connection in here. We're going to go with the four-lane road again. Four-lane road, here we go. And there we go. That seems, seems good, I think. Okay, I really like this design. Okay, I wish the terrain would uh, behave a bit better, but I think that's fine. We're going to decorate these areas anyway, so that's okay. All right, so for our tram, first of all, let's get this tram network going so we actually have something to show off. Perfect. <laughs> all right, upgrade these roads, that's fine. And I think I just want to have like a loop going through here. So we'll get the, tr we'll get the tram only road and we'll just cut through here. We're gonna destroy some houses, but that's fine. And the good part is we can have the tram stop right here, so we won't disrupt any uh, industrial traffic. What we also have to do, of course, is go to our walking paths, simply for the walkability. There we go, that seems connected. Now we can have the tram stop right in here, and people can use it and use the tram to go to work. Now, we also want to come in here, tram only, and I think we want to upgrade this road and have it go through here and then through our little town. So we might need to take out this building right here. There we go. And that is like, that's the thing. Never be afraid. Never be afraid to, you know, go back, you know, redo some parts that you maybe not like or that you maybe just didn't plan properly for, just like I did right now uh, with this building, that's not a problem, right? You can always go back and change stuff. It's not, it's not set in stone. Okay, so I think this little square here might be a great turning around point for the tram, and we can have our very, very own small little, uh, hub in here. That's really, really cool. All right, so why don't we start with a tram stop, actually, so that we can finally get some some tram action happening. Okay, obviously it's not going to work on the... Uh, directly on the, um, on the walking paths, but that is fine. So we'll definitely want to connect here. There's a walking path right here. We see that. We have this connection here. Uh, we'll also stop in here, I guess. So the tram gets up to speed fairly quick, so we can definitely go ahead and have these stops closer together. There we go. And we'll stop here, of course. And complete the line. There we go. And now we should see some trams rolling out really soon. We can change the model. There it is. Line details. First of all, vehicle. No, we're not going to go with the vanilla. We're going to go with some of the um, roads and vehicles update from recently where we got some oh i love these models where we got some new tram oh, this is cool 110 let's go with this capacity and purple sure let's keep it purple i don't think we need seven vehicles though so let's decrease the budget let's make it five 
Let's go to five and we can always up that budget. So they should be rolling out very soon. There they are. Look at these. These are so nice. Let's go, roll out, roll out, roll out. Perfect, really, really nice. Okay, so for in here, <clears throat> actually, first thing I wanna do is grab some shops and um, make sure that they are actually spawning on this road in here. And I wanna go with some variety. This is a good tip. If you want more variety in your buildings, uh, just be sure to have a different, um, different shapes. Like the biggest building that can spawn in the game is a four by four square building. And so with just these variations, you got your four by four, you got your three by three, two by three, and uh, four by three. You make sure that you have even more variety in the game because different buildings will spawn in here now. All right, I definitely want some more trees in here. And of course we're gonna go with, well, we have a row of trees in here, but I think I just wanna go with some oak trees. And if we go into more detailed, uh, detailing micro detailing i will definitely um will do a time lapse oh i love the bookstore here this is great historical so when it levels up it won't change its appearance which is like a burger uh place very nice also there we go a smaller building in here wine and liquor sure why not we're gonna do that also remember everyone if you have a suggestion for a name the city is still called start in 2023 also, we need to up our budget either for the sewage or place another uh, sewage treatment. Uh, if you have a name, please, by all means, let me know in the comments. So we're going to go to 100% for the water budget right here. There we go. That should be good then. Oh, and we got a big bite burger place. Very nice. Okay. And there's people waiting at the tram stop. This is really cool. All right. Five vehicles might be a, a lot for, um, <laughs> for this uh, short... Um, line that we have but i think we could just leave it like that for now we can always go in and change that all right so a bus we also need a bus let's go to bus uh we, we oh we do need to place a bus depot first well i think it would only be fair if we put that in here as well so let's go to i think we'll just go with the regular two-lane road how big is this building actually Oh, that fits in here nicely. There we go. Let's put the bus depot in. And now we can have buses spawning, which is really cool. All right. So we'll go in here. We'll have our first stop. Okay. So we're going to be aware we can't go up here. So we're going to have to go through this roundabout. We could also think about another connection. Let's actually do that first. Uh, let's slow down the timer. <laughs> okay. I love this um, four lane road though. This is really, really cool. All right, we could technically do this, right? And we have a connection. Does it look good? Mm, maybe not. Maybe we should go with an avenue road in here just so it looks um, better. And we're gonna really have to monitor this just in case traffic becomes too wild in here. We got a traffic light here now. We're gonna take this out. Remember, traffic routes, junctions, you can take out your traffic lights vanilla style. All right, so I really like this. And we have another reference point now for where we can start to build our uh, next residential area up in here. That's really, really cool. Okay, so we're gonna add a bus line. Bus, 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 okay. So this will be the starting point. So we'll go through here. Uh, well, yeah, sure, we'll, we'll go through here, why not? Then we will go not to the industrial area. We can, uh, let's take this out again. Let's go, oh, we're stopping here. No, let's, let's actually, yeah, okay. I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm never really sure when it comes to the um, bus lines, but um, I think this is okay. So we're gonna go through here. Then we're gonna go all the way up here. I think I wanna stop at the um, high school, actually. We'll go into our little, road network in here and then we're also going to go into I think just in here maybe and then we're, we're going to turn around we're going to turn around and the line will fall back on itself so there's two ways you can actually do this you can do it like I do so the line uh, just like turns around the bus turns around and then stops up opposite sides of your previous stops I'm not a fan of this Let's take this one out again and let's stop here. And that way we'll have a smoother uh, way for the bus. There we go. Buses will roll out. So you could do this or you could just have one way and then have a separate entrance, uh, separate line 
for a bus going in the opposite direction because you want people to have good connections to the various areas. All right, we could technically do a school bus since it stops at the elementary school, but I think we're gonna go for a articulated bus. I really like those. 50, 70, 80. Let's go to the highest um, capacity actually when it comes to these. Blue, let's let's leave it blue, yeah, sure. But 10, 10 buses, no. Keep in mind, buses are a form of public transportation, but they also are vehicles, so they will clog up your roads. Right, did I change that now? Don't think it, it's, <laughs> to go away, yeah. We need, we need the articulated bus, this is really cool. All right, awesome. Okay, so we got the bus line in. Yeah, you'll be you'll be good and ready. So I think I'm going to go into some uh, detailing. Detailing. We're going to go do a time lapse again. I'm going to uh, spawn in more buildings, and um, I will see you soon. So yeah. <laughs>
All right, everyone, and there we have it, our very own public transportation hub right over here. We have the bus lines, we have the tram lines. Let's actually see, um, also I noticed that I made a mistake here with the bus only highway ramp. I don't think any services reached the bus depot, so they were complaining about police. I changed to this road. I'm not 100% sure if not uh, the service vehicles can actually drive on the bus only roads. Well, we'll just leave it like that, so it should be fine. No cars should actually drive through here. I decided to add a little uh, skywalk in here just so we have connectivity throughout the public transportation hub without the citizens having to go across the tram tracks, the little busway in here, and uh, just overall for better connectivity. I've added these little um, carports all over the place just because I think they look really, really cool. And it's uh, citizens will make use of it, so that's pretty nice. Let's check out our lines, actually, our public transportation lines. How are they doing? All right, we get 200 passengers almost per week uh, with a with the bus. So, well, that's that's perfect. That's a perfect amount. Yeah, we could maybe drop one vehicle to get to clear up the roads, but it's fine like that. And the tram also 120 passengers per week. Let's see. All right, we have a lot of stops with just, like very few uh, residents. We could definitely drop another vehicle here for now. Let's make it four vehicles. It should be fine still. And uh, yeah, you love to uh, see the citizens using your uh, newly placed public transportation. So I did a lot of detailing with trees. I just love detailing with trees. It just, you know, you can hide impurities. The biggest one was probably here. Uh, at this shop, the terrain issues here, but if you zoom out a little bit, you don't even see it anymore. And I think that is really, really nice. The four lane roads, I love those. They are awesome. And also these like little custom areas in here, just some, some greenery, some color with the rhododendron bushes. I decided to place a pavilion in here. It's behind the fire station. Not sure if that would be super realistic, but I think it's okay. Uh, here and there, there's some small little areas like in between these gaps, we could still detail up. We have this to fill out. And of course, the residential area can now definitely go in here where we can also connect it via the tram, which I think is a great way to get around a city. So when it comes to these public transportation hubs, you don't really have to think long term. It, it definitely helps if you already like try and plan out where does uh, the next area go. Can I connect it with my existing bus uh, line? Can I connect it with my tram, metro, whichever you decide it to place? And that is just overall uh, good for your city in terms of like getting people off the roads, getting the cars off the roads, because that is the ultimate enemy in the game. Also, I love how these buildings just like kind of emerge from the trees. <laughs> it looks really, really good. Very nice. And also, I don't mind the big tram building in here, the tram depot. It's uh, it's pretty, it's okay. And I love the distinction here with the uh, with the heavy fence for the industrial area. And then you have, you go across the road and you have these beautiful trees and everything and the fences, the nicer fences, in my opinion, for this um, like, yeah, shopping area. We got lots of plazas in here. Overall connectivity for the population. And um, yeah, I think this is, uh, this is really, really cool. And now, if you want to see more tips and tricks about city skylines, I highly recommend you check out this video right over here. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day out there and stay safe. Bye-bye.